We're looking at new ways of expressing our mission here at St. John, not abandoning the idea of celebrating, living, and sharing abundant life with Jesus, but expressing how it is that we want to think of our church's efforts and ministries. And to help you think about that, I want to tell you a couple of stories. First, about a young man who was living in his truck. He was in a really bad way. He was uh, strung out on drugs. He was dealing with uh, a broken uh, marriage, uh, estranged from his family, um, homeless, uh, barely able to keep a job. And um, a group of people from the church decided that they would um, begin to draw him into their social network and begin to befriend him as best they could. And so they did. And they uh, began to just invite him to join them for some of the fun activities that they were doing and, and connect with him that way. After a period of time, God used that social network to begin to heal his marriage, to begin to bring him a better place uh, with regard to even his drug addiction. Uh, he was able to be uh, reunited with his wife. Uh, he was able to uh, move back home. Um, his whole life was able to be changed because a group of people decided that they would connect with him, that they would be a neighbor to this, to this young man who was really in, in a bad way. I can think of also a situation that we're dealing with with a, a young man who is in a similar but a different situation, different situation, different story. Um, where they are, uh, a group of people is, is making connection with him, helping him with some just very basic life skill kinds of issues around financial management and holding down a job and, and those kinds of things. And as we're doing that, we're, we're seeing God work in his heart, in his life, bringing him uh, closer to Jesus and, and more aware of God's love and salvation that is found in Jesus Christ. These are just two examples of what it means to be a neighbor and it starts with building those relationships and, and getting behind the closed doors that are a part of our very affluent uh, culture and our very affluent community that we're uh, here in Cyprus. So, for example, you know, people can drive in their, their cars and, and into their garages and put down the garage door and go inside. And, and they're dealing with kinds of addictions and kinds of issues and troubles that can be very, very hidden. And people cannot have any, any sense of, of the fact that there's real trouble behind those closed doors. And, um, and people are just running and chasing and, and working to find, uh, you know, just the, the financial wealth and, and riches that uh, they feel will uh, satisfy them. And they're discovering that that's not the case. Uh, we see things like a, a man who is extremely successful financially, but who is abandoning his wife and his family and, and uh, pursuing relationships outside of his marriage. Um, we want to help in some way or another to the best degree possible to prevent that or to reach in and to um, help rescue people who are dealing with issues such as that and, and troubled in, in those kinds of ways. Uh, and the only way we can do that is by being a neighbor by connecting, by building the relationships. And as we build those relationships, we bring them into closer contact with Jesus Christ and his love and his salvation. Uh, when that happens, it's a beautiful thing. That's the abundant life that Jesus uh, has in store for us and, and has come to give us. It's the thief who wants to steal and kill and destroy. That's, you know, true uh, that Jesus himself teaches in John chapter 10. And Jesus also says in John 14 that he is the way and the truth and the life and that no one comes to the Father but by him. And so we want to be a neighbor. We want to love our neighbor as ourselves, as Jesus makes the commandment uh, in the Gospel of Matthew and elsewhere. We also want to feel uh, find ways to to make those connections in a way that will help them join us and 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 build uh, vital relationships and to be able to celebrate the goodness of God and live together and and be able to share it with others. So as we think about the mission that God has given us here at St. John, we can think about it in terms of neighboring. We can think about it in terms of connecting our neighbors to true riches in Jesus. That's where the riches are found. That's the, the source of everything that is pure and good and, and worthy. And uh, it's my prayer that uh, we will embrace this as a congregation, that we will seek to do things that will make those connections with our neighbors, that we will build relationships and make connections with them uh, that will lead them out of some of the false riches and addictions and brokenness that is a part of their lives that uh, they may 
feel like they're able to cover up for a period of time, but that God allows us to, to maybe just rescue and, uh, and save in a very, very real way. Connecting our neighbors to true riches in Jesus. That's what we want to be all about at St. John.